Hi guys, welcome back to Spoon Feeding Profit. This is Maria with another video. Today I take you along with me in the thrift store. Let's see what I find. Remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't yet for more content like this. Let's get into it. Going through the jackets. Nope. Old pole denim. It's not looking too good. This is pretty cool. Has a hidden hoodie in here. I want nine bucks for it. I may get this. Let's put that in my little basket. Carts. Huh, guys, look at this. I'm finding this. It's, a, it's like a vintage Christian Dior. I want eight bucks. Okay. Uh, Columbia. It's a nice one. Hmm. Yeah. I want to buy Columbia for eight bucks. Hey, Jen Tuttle. Hope you guys can hear me. I am. <laughs> have my mask on. I'm trying to speak through this mic. Also. So not an LLB and see what we got here. This looks pretty mint. Like a soft shell jacket. Yep. Nylon. Man. I'm asking a lot for these jackets. I may or may not get. We'll see. But look at that. This tag always does well. So this is a men's Adidas jacket. Seven bucks, definitely. Yeah, I'll pick this up for seven. I'll put the little bean as well, just in case. Hmm. It's dark in here. This looks cool. Just looking at it, it looks cool. I don't even know what the brand is yet. Huh, athletic works. Size extra large, nylon, five bucks. I think I'll grab this. Let's see what that's going for. Let's go to the highest. Definitely selling, so we'll pick that up. What are Adidas? This is a basic one though. Not gonna get that. Denim and flower. Jacket for 12 bucks. Nope. So that's it for those. I'm gonna get that. This is pretty cool. Love it. Let's check out these shorts really quick. See what we see. What is that? Oakley. Ah, it's not the brightest white, so. I'll pass, but Oakley does pretty good. Hmm. Tommy Bahama. These are two bucks. Could pick it up, but it's not in the best condition. Would you guys have picked that up? You probably would, right? Probably easy theme box split. Chaps. Nope. Yeah, I don't like anything here. Checking through the ties here, and I found this um, new Brooks Brothers Pure Silk with tag. Details for $49.50. Very nice. I'm not gonna get that. This is probably about two. Two bucks, maybe four bucks. Yep, we'll get that. See what else we see. Let's go for Curious George. There's no Brando on it. There's some more Brooks Brothers here, but they're not new with tag. For example, there's this one. It looks pretty new. Yeah. Choices. I think that'll be about it. Monica. Ooh, 
glad I went through the ties. Christian Dior. Look at this. This looks pretty nice. Interesting print that somebody would be interested in. Looks in pretty good condition too. Oh, we're gonna get that. We're gonna get that. Put that with the pile over there. Let's see, let's see. Metropolitan is John Henry. Wolfmark. All right, I think we'll stop there. There's belts. Preston. New England. It has the print on it. It'd actually be a nice belt. I don't know. It's a brand new one going for 10, so. Nope. So, I figure I'm gonna put this back. I'm not gonna pay eight bucks for this, so I'll put this back. But look what I figured out, guys. I thought this was just a jacket, but look inside. It's the whole suit. So this is even a better score than I thought. Look at that. The pants is in there, so that is pretty cool. So we're in the Borgian section. Let's see what you see. This cranium is brand new. Premium booster box. This is four bucks. I think these sell like 17 to 19 free ship. So it's pretty heavy. Um I probably won't get that for that price. Maybe a dollar or something I would pick that up. If you can combine these with the the games would be good though. And set it like as a lot. premium here. See if this was brand new I would have picked it up and combined it. I don't pick it up just because I don't know if it's complete or not. That looks retro. Yeah these Mickey Mouse Yahtzee games. These can go for up to 30 I think I've seen these for. But that's of course if it's complete. One is used. This looks legit. Yeah, the pieces look pretty good though. Like good condition. There's the game right there. Huh. How much how much are they asking? Two bucks, two fifty? I think I'll grab it. I think I can get twenty bucks for this. And it's pretty lightweight too. See what we got over here. In line. It's a long reach stapler. I think these can go for like 20 bucks on eBay. They're asking three bucks. Not too bad, but I don't know. I don't think they sell that often. Got another swing line here. Swing line, high capacity lever punch. Six bucks though. A good brand. Sold it before, but this one is in bad condition. A merry bag. So I moved over to the beauty section and I looked around, I didn't see much, but I did find this um clear all natural instincts. These sell pretty well. This is a uh, seal, still has the seal on it. Two dollars fifty cents. Yeah, they go for like 19 bucks on eBay. I'll snatch that up. I found this Mayfair, this men's vintage Mayfair pants. It's like a tartan pattern print. Looks retro. I'm gonna pick this up. Tartan, this print sells really well. Size six. Just finding stuff and I went crazy with some Happy Meal toys here. They're like 25 cents, 50 cents, 10 cents in this one. Some of them can sell for like 10 bucks. Not normally my profit margin. You know, they're like 50 cents. So I figure I'm going through the toys. Why not just pick it up? So these astronaut command module, I think I saw one go for $11.99, free ship. Um, I found like four or five of these. I got three brand new Pez candy dispenser. I got this um, Nerf gun from 2005 
looks excellent condition we'll see how I do with them and there's these spy net guns 150 I figure but I found these three that I just thought were interesting there's this Mario little case with a few pieces inside two bucks so I'll pick that up Disney wallet not sure a dollar and this is 2005 Colico handheld game Colico it's a dollar I'll just pick these up going through these hats this looks interesting to me it's a Columbia looks retro vintage University Square made in the USA I'm gonna pick this up I just got a feeling we'll see is there any brand on these? Nope. What is this? Aero. It's like Aero Boston, I guess. Love, love, love. It's cute. What is this? Eight spade. Hmm. Maybe this is worth a checkup. What are they asking? A dollar. Ugh, this one don't have a brand. Ah, oh, interesting. We'll see how that does. So I found this cool McDonald's shirt. It looks kind of old schoolish, for sure. It looks like a '90s, maybe. Could be wrong. Definitely does not have a single stitch, but it's in great condition and this I think is a good selling point. Um, the front just says rock and roll. This looks pretty cool. It's a fruit of the loan tag. Yeah, I think I'll snatch this up. Reverb. a nice men's polo with yellow shirt. Looks pretty good. Yellow. There's always somebody looking for a yellow at some point in time. I think I'm gonna grab this for two bucks. I'll grab it. So I found these two t-shirts here that look to be pretty recent but it's never worn and I think it has a funky style that somebody would like. Country Cruising. I'm gonna grab it. This is a pretty cool find. I don't know exactly how cool yet, but this is a vintage Fruit of the Loom made in USA t shirt. Jazz, something to do with jazz here. If you notice, it's a single stitch. That's definitely one way to identify vintage t shirts. So I found these two polo shirts. This is a Nike Golf Tri-Fit. It's pretty mint to me. It's a nice green with the swoosh. Behind that, it looks to be a kind of a, not too old, but definitely a little older tag. It still has half of the tag there. Woolrich polo shirt. They're asking five bucks, but I think I'll get it. I don't know, the tag is interesting. All right guys, so I'm back at the house. The thrift store was closing soon, so I wanted to get through a few more aisles without filming. So this is the last set of stuff I got before I left. This here is a power plate. It says $10 on tested. Um, I saw two of these go for like over $200. I figure I can't go wrong with this even if I sell it for parts. It says PQ10. Yeah, so 10 bucks. I got this lot of books. I saw this lot of um, locomotive uh, railroad type books. This one alone I saw go for um, about eight bucks plus shipping. I paid two dollars for like six different ones. I didn't go through the rest yet, but I figure I can't lose with this. So yeah, and they're in pretty good condition, almost mint condition. I picked up this Tupperware container, pretty good. We got this extra hidden Bowl like inside here it's an overall really good condition 75 cents I figure I can't lose with that here I 
got an, an Ann Taylor Loft women's original boot pants, brand new with tag. It says retail is 59 and I paid five bucks. This is a pretty cool retro find. Robbie B, petite women's dress. This, this one is new with tag though, so that's definitely one of the reasons I picked it up. I paid five bucks for that. And here, this is a vintage list sport corduroy jacket, I guess you would say, but it's more like a blouse. It's navy, guys. So the last two items we have is this um, really nice women's Calvin Klein. I don't know if you can see that tag with the lighting. Calvin Klein women's poncho type top here. Guys, this is in mint condition, uh, vintage Calvin Klein. So it's not that old, but it's a little older tag. All right, it's not made in USA or anything like that. And last but not least, I found this women's jewel rocket polyester zip front jacket. Pretty cool. Only paid three bucks for that. So yeah, I think I did pretty good. Uh, total spent was a little over $100. I have two different transactions there, 65 bucks and 48.52. Um, yeah, so about 114. Let me know what you think of my haul in the comments. Let's go ahead and hit the like button. This is Spoon Feeding Profit. See you guys next time. Be kind out there.